Oh, here's a video of my homemade power supply unit. It's a fixed voltage, 13.8 volts, and it's capable of about 50 amps. Uh, the box came from, or the casing came from a friend of mine from his works when they were having a clear out. Transformer came from a radio show. The smoothing capacitor came from a radio show. It's 60, 6,000 microfarads, 30 volts. The supply is uh, 19 inches long by about 10 inches wide. It's, uh, it's all homemade. The circuit boards, are, or some of the circuit boards are gathered from old power supplies and things. It's just a bit of a hodgepodge really of whatever I had lying about at the present time. I made it quite a while ago. Made in March 2004. Since then I've changed one or two things, depending on what comes along and how cheap these components are. I, I will change it if, uh, if there's something better out there. The reason I've got the lid off at this present time is uh, I've bought a um, um, a switch, a, a thermal switch unit from Maplin's. wasn't really worth making one, not for the price that one could be bought. It cost me a fiver to actually buy it from Maplin's, and about a half hour to put it together. Use a little sensor on the heatsink for there, and the thermal compound on there. To uh, switch the fan on. Previously, the fan was on constantly, even though it was run through a resistor to uh, uh, limit the voltage to it to make it run slower. But even running slow, it does still shift a lot of air. Still a little bit noisy. And when I've got it in the shack on top of the uh, on top of the shelf, it, it is quite a bit of airflow, and uh, you can feel the cold air underneath. And blowing on to you and after uh, after an hour or two it does you know you can really feel it so I decided to uh, add the thermal switch to it anyway the rundown on the power supply is is the uh, mains transformer it uses uh, not actual wire it's uh, more like a, a, th a bar it's more, it's more like a copper bar for the windings uh, down here you see the resistor, that's part of the soft start circuit. And that limits the voltage for a second or so while the while the capacitor is charged. It takes uh, takes a lot of the strain, stress and strain off the transformer, the bridge rectifier or the, the, rec the rectifiers and the capacitor circuit, it takes a, it takes a lot of stress off that. Uh, here it is a relay, it's a plug-in type, 24 volt, wired directly across the capacitor. This is part of the soft start circuit and also the circuitry to, um, uh, to disconnect the power supply if there's a fault. This board here uh, came out of an old 3 amp power supply unit, it's just there for voltage regulation, nothing more, and it does a fairly good job. Part of the regulator circuitry as well for this board. Here is a uh, home etched board, it's the the over voltage board, it uses a thyristor here. The IC is a motor roller IC, it's a dedicated uh, over voltage IC and here we have a bank of resistors which discharge their capacitor if there's a fault. <clears throat> That's basically it really, not an awful lot to it. Uh, mains switch, push to start, uh, the uh, LED to show that there's voltage, test button, to show that, uh, or to test the actual over voltage circuitry. Quite a large heat sink, fan, output terminals. That's about it really. Let's uh, turn it on. 
no voltage yet. Put put the mains on. Press the press the start button, and there we have thirteen point eight one volts. <clears throat> As I said this is the uh, test button for the over voltage circuitry. It puts the voltage up to about fourteen and a half volts, which is what I've set it at. Quite a nice voltage to um, uh, turn everything off. Stops. Uh, it's not high enough really to cause any damage to a radio, but it's uh, you know it's high enough to uh, trip the circuitry for the over voltage. If I press it, it should knock itself off. The relay short circuits the or puts the resistor bank across the capacitor to discharge the capacitor uh, and this is what uh, shuts down the power supply on startup it's just a matter of pressing the push to start button and there we go I've got here a set of uh, spot lamps they were for a project for my motorcycle I haven't got around to fitting them yet they do draw around the about 15 amps, 12 to 15 amps. So if I connect these, ooh, there we go. We'll see the voltage dropped from 13.8 to 13.74. Just disconnect the, it's gone back up to 13.8. If I just connect them again, 13.74. We're quite capable of uh, running a decent amount of amperage at uh, around about 50 amps the voltage drops to around about 13.4 13.5 volts which is still pretty good regulation is not too bad either more than good enough for most things I think the most important thing with uh, a high current power supply or any PSU you're gonna run a radio from is definitely over voltage uh, I don't see no point in uh, spending let's say a hundred quid or so on a PSU one of the cheaper types which you can get which don't have over voltage built in and then putting a thousand pound radio on the end uh, if something goes wrong with the pass transistors here generally uh, if they go short circuit, you'll, you will get the full unregulated voltage from the capacitor, which could be anything up to about 24 volts, or thereabouts, straight out the output terminals into your radio. Hence the reason for the over voltage circuitry. So it's not very common on cheap power supplies, but as like I said, it's, uh, it's well worth thinking about. So if you don't have a over voltage built in your power supply, and uh, if you've got a nice radio on the other end of the power supply, it might be well worth thinking about adding over voltage. It's quite simple. You want a, um, a relay. A motor roller IC is the way I generally do it. A thigh wrist. Uh, and somebody to do it for you, obviously, uh, unless you can do it yourself. Possibly all the components to do the over voltage cost around about a tenner or so. Well, well worth adding. Well worth adding if uh, if it saves a if it saves a hefty bill for a repair of a radio. Anyway, that's my power supply. Thanks very much for watching.